and we'll take good care of it. We just got Owen's uh, S10 all done. Got the front axle re-geared. I think you probably watched when uh, I did that down at uh, Robbie's. We did the rear axle, but the uh, front axle never did get done. So we just got that handled. Looks good. Patched everything all back together. He's ready to go and beat it some more throughout the rest of the summer. Right after he gets that out, we'll get Kenner's truck in and get going on it. Hey, where's your steering wheel? It doesn't exist yet. Oh, okay. It's called you grab the tires and move them. Okay. I'll push it. Push! Push! Shut push. up! <laughs> We're pushing. Push! Push! This is what you're doing. Huh? I said we had momentum. Yeah, but we kind of have to steer it. Alright, I'm going to help you. Oh, thank yeah. you. You push the wheel. Okay, well, mom, slow down. I didn't know we were going slow. I thought we were getting it done. Yeah, I don't want to push out the front quick as possible. What are we doing today? Where are you going, GK? Uh, watch that. Yeah, I Got the kind of truck in here, so we're gonna start out the hassle of getting the bushings. For the car support? Yeah. Yay. All right, got Kenner's truck back in the shop after the work week. As you can see, Kenner's loaded for bear there. <laughs> okay, gonna cut more pristine sheet metal here. I know, I know, that's just kind of how we are around here, a bunch of hacks, but <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, so we need to have this piece right here fold in to come into the radiator support. So in order to do that without, uh, with this, the way this bend is, we're gonna take and cut some pies cuts. So we're gonna start with four. We're only gonna come up to oh, about there and about there to start with. So once we do that, we're hoping, we're hoping that it'll uh, take some pressure off of this to where we can start to roll this back and, and uh, make the radius look the way we want to. We may come farther back into here and, and maybe do a pie cut in here, but we're just going to start right here with the simplest ones and see where we get. You're up. Uh, do we want to take the grill off or leave it on? Uh, it's, it's, uh, let's probably leave it on. Okay. Yeah, just don't cut it with that. You'll be fine. Meow. Yeah, you may want the uh, long one. There's a longer one? No, the straight one. Because uh, then you can come in like this and hold it with a smaller wheel. Because you're going to want a smaller cutoff wheel than that. Do you want an eighth inch or sixteenth? Uh, doesn't matter. We're, I'm more worried about diameter. So okay. get one that's probably like two to two and a half inches in diameter. I know where you sleep, man. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, I used to sleep on top of your bed. I mean, you mean right above it. Okay. Perfect. Oh, wow. Everybody wants to do it. So I think on this other side, um, let's do the 
Same thing, but we'll go here, here, and here. But we'll, let's use the Dremel. Different over there. Because we learned. Yeah, there's better ways to You cut. learned something, really? We, we learned. Whoa. This truck done learned me something here, so. I didn't know old dogs could, dogs could learn new tricks. Well, yeah. You get his potty trained and you never know. <laughs> Possibilities are endless. Okay, <laughs> Kenny, get her on it. Yep, time to go to work. Oh, here's the big one for that. The big one. The regular cutoff wheel for that one. Uh, this is for your little strips These down are there. for your little relief gotcha, cuts. Sir. Yeah. Dude, it's smoking. Yep, that's why it's pointed at it. Yeah, 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 that's why it's <laughs> there's, a little, there's a little difference. <laughs> so tomorrow, um, you guys can get the motor. Where is the motor at? It should just be over here by the 350. It's under the tarp. That here's, uh, I think yours is the only I just got to sit here ready. Okay, let's walk out here. You guys want to see the motor and trans that's going to go into that truck of Kenner's? There, I heard digging it out. Yep, that's it. Perfect. So that motor is... What, was that a 5.3? Yep. Do you have a, a particular light for 5.3s? Especially when they just kind of show up. <laughs> that one just showed up one day. I don't even remember where it came from or anything. Pretty sure it's good. <laughs> Whatever. So, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but my dad and Corbin and Dusty and Tyson all left, so it's just me in the shop today. They're heading down to get another project. Hey, we took a break from what's going on in the shop. I found what I think might be a real jewel, something to uh, go out and beat so I don't have to scratch the blazer up so, so bad. So, I've been working on my truck. I just need to knock this frame wheel down some more. It's being a real turd, so we'll see what happens. I did done knock the frame amount enough that it's okay. Watch better. Next thing is, is, so we got these pieces. They go. Oh, if I can get a decent camera angle. Right underneath there, right there. Bitch. So they hold the for support bushings. Same bushings we're using for the cab, but that's what it is. And then we put this little guy underneath of it in the washer and stuff. But we can't just bolt it there because it just goes boink. So we built this gasset piece. 
it keeps it from trying to kill itself. I gotta make four of these. So first we gotta cut some metal. Meanwhile, headed up into northern Utah um, to a little town called Newton. Never been there before, but it's uh, like 10 miles west of Logan's. But this guy's got this old scout. It's even orange, so let's see if it's worth bringing home. But we got the uh, got the trailer on the back of the Ford here and a console full of cash. So we'll see what we get. Yeah, and this truck's more gonna be like if you hit it, if you hit a rock, it's more gonna be like oh poor rock, not oh poor body. Oh yeah, yeah. Well. We'll leave orange paint everywhere we go, so you'll be able to tell. If, if this is what I think it is, well, it should be a good time. Just expecting some bad comments from all you scout people out there, so bring it on. Well, we made it. Pretty cool valley that we're in. Perfect. If it doesn't work, key in your phone. I should come off the bandsaw. That would help. Chat's five blocks on. Making my life easy. I drew that one. These ones are all just cut. So I'm just gonna put this on top of it and then clamp it and cut it all at once. The owner of the Scout says that uh, his house that he lives in is the oldest in the valley. Uh, I think I believe him. It's probably like 1870s, 1880s, I'm guessing by the stonework. That's pretty cool. This is really cool. And there's the old Scout. That thing is huge. Holy. Oh, it's on dollies. Okay. Wow. I have to tell you, it's been registered as an ATV. <laughs> yeah, because that. that's, I mean, I trailered everywhere I went. It's got Detroit lockers. Perfect. They're just ironclad. Yeah, they just work. And I don't have to, I don't mess with anybody's, oh, my air's leaking, I can't get my yeah. lockers in, and, or whatever, so. I say that because you don't want to get it on the highway anyway, because you get going very fast, and you know it'll kind of lock itself. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you back off it, it unlocks. Right. And then you go and throw a little bit of fuel back to it, and it'll throw you out of your seat. You know. Yeah. Because all Maybe of a sudden it'll engage and it'll go boom. Yeah. You know? Maybe even try and change lanes in the process yeah. too. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. all part of the. The Detroit experience, especially with bias ply swampers and oh, everything yeah. else. So, <laughs> road's really short, so it's really hard to make this uh, make this corner. So, 
pretty much have to jackknife the trailer to get it in here, so. Don't be making fun of Tyson there. He's doing a good job. Fires right there, like we don't see enough of them. What to do now? Getting her ready to haul off. Yeah. Oops. Just need you to hop up in there, start it, get it fired up. Do a nice little burnout in this area. Try to miss the beam. Aim for the trailer. Can you do that? Now we're in trouble. <laughs> He broke it. Kaden, what did you just do? <laughs> Nothing. Did you just break the steering wheel? <laughs> nah. No, it still turns. See, look. Yeah. Did he just break the steering wheel? I can't confirm or deny your allegations. <laughs> For what I just thought, you just broke the steering wheel. Okay, we need to go. I can't see anything on the passenger side. So we need to go that way. Uh, yeah, you need to go that way. But you gotta be careful, barely. Yeah, I only have just a little bit of room to go that way. Yeah. Double whammy, police fire. Go to the bar rim, motor rock, mob rim, got We're going on nose first. Yeah, we're gonna have to flip it. We're gonna have to turn it around? Yep. Well, that's gonna be fun. I'll just yeah. sit here. Yeah, you wait, finger. Hey, when all it, it's, it's a necessary task. We should have aired the tires up to about a hundred. <laughs> Once we get Chad and Ray back in here. How was it, Corbin? Pretty good. Well, we'll just watch Dusty and Tyson push us. Yep. <laughs> I don't know if I have brakes, so I probably don't. Oh, you have brakes? Yeah, yeah, I do actually have brakes. Well, that's pretty good. good. Is your pusher broken? Yeah, I don't know what's wrong with your pusher. No. Hey, you can help. No, I can't. Yeah, you can. No, I can't. <laughs> you better toughen up. I'm videoing. Five more days until hockey tryouts. Yep. <laughs> you hop out, <laughs> okay. we're good. <laughs> okay, that works. We're problem solvers. Okay, yeah, you just gotta grab that steering wheel for all your work for him. You'll be fine. Ready? Yep. <laughs> 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 what do you guys just hang on this too? You said hang on it uh, for all your words. <laughs> 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 Crank it the other way. Okay. Okay. Okay, back to straight. He's got it. I want to see him steer this thing. Good job. There you go. Oh, okay. Keep going this way? Yep, yep, yep. pull it for all you got. Okay, now straighten it out. This way. Robin's racing. You're good. Did 
This way, Corbin. Okay. I'd say about there. Well done. Well done. Okay. Thank you. You can work now. Hello. Well, Corbin, you gonna put stickers on all the dance? No. Why not? Well, because there will be too many stickers on. Oh. <laughs> well, we'll probably add a few of our own dance, huh? Create our own stories for this, huh? Yep. And yes, this thing does run on propane, so yeah. Yes. Internationals actually pretty growing on me. Is it? Yeah. Already? Yeah. Just love at first sight. I've seen the pictures of it. I think it's second. What about the doors? I mean, that one's bad. That one's kind of mint. The hood's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So. I guess probably something like that. What size a uh, wrench or do we need and we can just throw the hood on? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, we have a crushing wrench, so. I think they're just half. They're 5 16 volts. Earth. Well, actually, they're metric. What? We have a crushing wrench, so. Well, we'll they're probably just 13s then. Definitely metric bolts, but oh, actually, oh, yeah, they're the right bolts. Okay. Okay. Hey, Dad. Well, what do you think, Corbin? Of what? Of this. You're looking forward to being able to drive this? Yes. Yes. I'm looking forward to be able to hit this thing and not even care. <laughs> well, we're not going to totally destroy it. We're, we want to make it last. I know, but if yeah. it like slides off a rock and hits it, it's not going to care. Yeah. <laughs> yep, should be fun, huh? Yep. Yep, should be good. So. Got some bolts? Yep. So long. Did what did he just say to you? Let's get the first one in, they're not bad. This is this nut plate can slide down. Oh, don't start either. Yeah. We got one more in. There we go. Okay. 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 Now Doesn't feel like it's coming off. Perfect. Well, thanks, Rick. I appreciate you, uh, you and uh, and we'll take good care of it. I've seen what you've done, so I know you will do, do good. Yeah. So. And it'd be exciting to be able to watch something I sold. Yeah. Yeah. We'll we'll keep it looking more or less the same, so you'll uh, definitely recognize it. We might put a few more sc uh, scratches and dents in it, though. But uh, but we'll. That's what it needs. Yeah. Okay. A little bit of rock rash. That's what they're for. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> for sure. So, okay, well, well I appreciate you have it. A good day. Okay, you too. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Guys. Nice okay. to meet you. Heading off. Go back to the old drive. Got back home with this got her pushed off the trailer it's got a lot of good parts should be a lot of fun but for now it's just gonna sit um, I'm not gonna be working on it until uh, later this summer so the goal is, is to have it ready and up and going for when it cools off in the fall to so I can take it out but a big thanks to all of those who have uh, bought merch 
your poor financial decisions have helped me make even worse financial decisions in buying this. So thanks a bunch. But we'll make sure we get some good uh, video of this. Leave an orange paint on the nice red rocks in southern Utah and uh, have a ton of fun and make even more memories with the crew in it. So now that we have the radiator support pretty well done up it's time to see how this motor is going to fit this is the part i've been a little bit concerned about trying to get the motor in a place where it looks good inside the engine compartment the problem with most of these swaps is the engine sits so far down and far back that they just look terrible and you about have to stand on your head to even work on them so i'm hoping that we can get the engine up in a good spot in relation to the firewall to make it look uh, like it's supposed to rather than some uh, backyard engine swap so yeah that's what we're what we're up against we got some uh, we got the adapters on the side of the block got a two-wheel drive trance on here so we're gonna play see what uh, see how it all looks having never done this before I have no idea how how it's going to turn out. It's definitely a lot higher than most of them. Yeah, I'd like to go up just a little bit more. Okay. For a couple of reasons. It's going to look a little better. And making that mount is going to be a little easier. Yeah, the mounts are going to be better. Exhaust clearance is going to be better. The power steering pump clearance is going to be better. Okay, Kenner and I got this engine and trance slid back. Uh, most of the way, as you can see, it needs to go back just a little bit farther and up just a little bit, but it's starting to fill the engine compartment up kind of like I'd like to see it be. Um, so anyway, we got the engine up high enough that it's starting to fill the engine compartment and make it look like there's actually an engine in the compartment instead of being down so far to where you can't even reach the distributor or the if, like an old small block or you know be able to reach the motor at all in order for us to go much farther we're gonna have to cut inside of here oh no not much cool look back at all so you can see where we've got it marked there we'll get that cut then we can slide the engine back a little bit and then up and i think we can do that and then we'll just have a small little hump right there at the firewall and the transmission cover but still keep the floor flat mm -hmm. so i'll we'll probably just be flat as marine yeah so the it'll more or less be as flat as we possibly can keep it and then once we get that done and then i'll then we'll need to build some pieces to connect these mounts right here to the frame so we'll just take some square tube uh put some sleeves in it for the those mounts to bolt to and then when we get everything centered and squared up and then we can tack the the pieces to the frame there and uh, we'll see how it works those look like dusty's mounts yep they are the same big block old school big block chevy mount so but you don't have to cut them apart like dusty's like the ones from crusty well those were the stands on the frame side that we had to cut apart and make so we're gonna cut a little pie cut out of that tab both sides and then straighten out this band so it comes up straight and then it'll go straight up to the bottom of the frame rail so and then we'll cut the bot the top bracket piece off and then we'll get it all fitted and see if we can make it work but it's the same insulator but we're making the part that that they built to on the frame so okay Kenner, cut away not a very bright boy doesn't listen to much Die. This is like a shark. Delicious. Okay. 
She went back up. I think that's it. Perfect. I think that's it. Pretty straight in there. The valve covers right where we need to be. We'll probably relocate these anyway, but the valve covers clearing the firewall, so we'll be able to get that off easy enough. Yeah, the height looks pretty good. Will the motor mounts work with the frame? Oh yeah. Yeah, those will work good. He's gotta build a piece to go three. Yeah. Dad, what do you mean the height looks good? There's like a foot of difference between there and there. What are you gonna do? Good. No, it looks good. I mean, Meaning you could lay on top of the motor and we could still shut the hood. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, your body's gonna fit in there. Well, you're not, it's only a little three in the cab, but who says you can't fit three under the hood? Yeah. Yeah, in the engine. Of it's kind of like a crew cab, but warmer, huh? <laughs> it's good enough. Let me know if the coolant's getting a little too warm for you. Yeah. Just have Matt big... come up and touch it and make sure if it's warm first. Yeah. We have a little bit of clearance between the trance and the firewall. So, yeah, look at that. We're good to about there. So, we're just going to have a, a really small. A little small humpy dumpy right there in the front. That's pretty much right where it starts to kick up right there on the old floor pan. Yeah. Just well, this is like a medium duty truck full pan. So. Yeah, I got some of the light duty truck pans. Yeah, so we'll just use a light duty truck pan and then we'll just put a little, a little hump in it to clear that. So perfect. Yeah, I like that. I like it. So now that we have the motor and trance where we want them, pretty much, we took and uh, ran a piece of uh, round bar through the slip yoke where the U-joint goes, like so. And that holds the trance in place. Um, then we don't have to have this jack. And that'll make it so we don't have to worry about building the trance mount today because we're just not going to have enough time. But now that we have the trance held in place, our next step is building the pieces for the motor mounts to bolt to. As you can see, we got about a two inch gap right there on both sides. It's pretty close to the same. The piece we're going to make to fill that in is this. Kenner's drilling them. This is just two by three by a 120 wall. We've got it marked. Well, we're gonna drill it. So Kenner just center punching it now. Almost right on cue even. That should be plenty good. Gotta keep that kind of square, so. Yeah. Okay, go ahead and open that up to the bigger bit now. There we go. Right on the edge. Okay, and I'll show you the last piece of the puzzle if I can remember where I put them. There. Oh, there they are. So that will go through there, all the way through, right that, and this will be what the this will be the sleeve that the motor mount bolt goes through. So then we'll just weld that all together. Go ahead and drill that other side out to three quarter, and we'll get that tapped through, and we'll show the good people how this all works. The good people who watch us idiots work. Yep. Okay. Okay, you gotta put the pressure on it. It's a big bit. <sighs> okay, so that's what it's gonna be. And that piece should, at least in theory, make it here. Yeah, look at that. Looks like so. That'll hold that all in place, so we'll run a bolt through it. Tanner's gonna drill that other one, and when we get them both in place, we'll get this all centered up and leveled up, 
and then we'll put a couple of really good tacks on it. So we got the sleeves in. I took and welded it in. Uh, like so. Something, of that Something like that. I've uh, got the other one slid in. I'm gonna hold in it. And this one. Ready to go in. Okay. Now, get those jack stands out of the way, and now we'll let the. Oh, that's it. Yay! Oh. I don't think the front end's set very much lower. Yeah, it will. The suspension actually moves now. That's wonderful. Yeah, but yeah, it definitely didn't drop very far, did it? Mm, yeah. Okay, so I think what we'll need to do is make sure the engine's sitting level side to side. Okay. And then I'll get back under the transmission and make sure the transmission's centered side to side and then once that's good and i think we're uh, we can tack these in really well really like the engine placement so it didn't really move so we're pretty well all but touching up there very close so then these will all get changed anyway so yep that just gives me a good guide for consistency okay well let's see how close we are side to side. For being centered. You going under? Maybe. Fit a fat head under. <laughs> and I ran into that problem too. I might have to put a jack into the back of this can there. Okay. Get my fat head under here, so. Oh, I think we're running out of daylight. I'm running out of energy. Tell you there? Yep. Been a long day. Okay, so we have the motor all rotate it in the way it's supposed to be and uh, the motor is parallel with the center line of the frame the motor is offset to the passenger side um, about a half inch from center half to three quarter depending on where you measure it so but it is uh, parallel the trance might be just a little bit high from what we want but that's okay but everything else looks really good um, so I'm just gonna take and tack these uh, pieces of square tube in really good so everything will be will stay in place and then at that point I think we can kind of put the front end back together set the hood on and she'll be ready to go out the door sweet what do you think of that Kenner? yay <laughs> okay <laughs> all right okay looks good to me looks good a little bit more than a task, but I really want it moving around, so don't blame you. That takes care of it for today. Till next time, remember the spot between the big moments and the small moments is called life. Make sure you don't miss any of it. Thanks for watching.